Hey guys, are you okay? In today's video, we will train your model skills using 3ds Max. Today, we will create a model using a cylinder as a base. I hope you enjoy the process. So, let's start by creating a line, which will be your base cylinder. Here, increase it in thickness a little. In sides, we will change the value to 32. At the top, we will create a chamfer to make the top spherical. After that, I will use soft selection to make the top a little thinner. Now, duplicating the model, I will use this copy to create a cut in the upper part of our cylinder. Using the boolean, we will create the cuts at the top. Here, adjusting it so that it is a little bigger. Once this is done, we will cut the model in half. To make the work easier for a topology. In the modifier, we will use 500 in five counts, remembering to enable the boolean sends and specific normals options. Now, we convert it to editable poly, and we will create a hole in your details. The idea here is to create a harder corner at the bottom and a softer on inside the holes. Now, I'm going to delete the entire bottom part and use the loop regularizer to adjust any imperfection created by the topology. Let's create this detail at the bottom. And here, we add support loops on all these edges. By selecting this face, I will create a detail around the tip of our model. Something like a protection for this more fragile tip. We add thickness to this piece.
and we use a chamfer on the edge. Here, I will add a simple detail and a support loops. I will do the same at the top, separating this part from the rest. Now, I'm going to create some circles as if they were lights. And a larger drop button using a rectangle. It's all very simple but it will give our modeling a more special look. Here, adjusting the thickness and size of the details. Again, using Boolean in the Subtract option. Now, I'm just going to select the front sides of the details and then use a full selection to separate them I will do the same at the top. Here, the model is practically finished and adds a different color. The last adjustment will be to align this beak in the same direction as the details we just created. And our study is finished. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I stay here. Until next time. Bye. Subscribe to the channel.